Oh my God, I just got the best news ever. I cannot even begin to tell y'all. God will remove people out of your life. I promise you. And you don't even know why. It's painful. And you going through a process. I know Pastor Williams always say trust the process. But you can't trust the process sometimes because you can't see. And then you hear faith without works is dead. And when you hear faith is without works is dead. And you just left by yourself. This is the, this is that this is something that I'm tripping because I've always had a confident a, a person there to um, to share to share my news with. You know, this is that time that God has done something so great in my life. I wasn't expecting it. I was just being obedient. And I was being so obedient and stuff was happening that I couldn't understand. My heart was being broken by loved ones, by by mates, by friends. And I was just getting disappointed and discouraged. But they were falling off. And I was getting lonelier and lonelier and lonelier. And um, the loneliness was just sitting in. I mean, it was sitting in. I was just like... Lord, why are you making these people dislike me? Lord, why are you why are you doing this to me, Lord? I left this lady. This lady just told me some information that has catapulted me into a whole nother. I'm in a whole nother. I don't even know how to tell y'all. God is so great. I would lay on a pillow and I would tell my husband what God was gonna do for me. Hey, Detanya. God is doing great things in my life and it's unreal but he had to get these people out of my life it's like Lord I really wanted them to come with me but a long time ago when my pastor gave me that that platform to preach everybody can't go I didn't know I was preaching my own message in my own life that everybody can go there's a ram in the bush when you think you by yourself you help people you constantly helping people and you don't know why you helping people why you there for them but I tell you what today God showed me better than he could tell me he showed me I'm on my way to make some moves but I tell you what these moves are catapulting me and my son into a in an arena that my voices will be heard um, here in Marin County it is so it's awesome, but I'm so I know God is not giving us a spirit of fear, but when you get put into another arena where you you working with the law, you working with different agencies and you know, you just don't know what God is doing. But the part that I just didn't get if anybody knows about being married, if you know about being married and you got a spouse and you can lay on that pillow and they can encourage you. I miss that. I miss laying down and knowing that I'm going to be all right. But I got Christ because he did this. Me and my son is about to be. It's unreal. Everything that I spoke and asked God, even when I didn't think I was doing right, when I didn't think I was doing, I was being, I was just being rebellious self-destructive it was all for my making it was for my making it was for my good but if I had somebody I could share everything you can't share with everybody you know you can't share everything with everybody but God gives you a spouse and when you get that spouse you can be as vulnerable as transparent you can be and I had a realization today when I left that lady and she began to tell me what was my life, my future look like. I, I found out, you know what? I have no one to tell but the Lord. And he already knew it. He had, he already knew it. He knew it. And now I'm just like, I'm going to see my lawyer. Only God can do it. When that woman's singing, only God can do it. When that lady is saying, only God can do it. 
because there's no man here to provide for me. Christ is my provider. He's been my sole provider. I don't borrow money. I don't do anything. I just give and I give and I give. I'm a giver. I don't take. The Bible says we are lenders and not borrowers. We're the head and not the tail. And he said, my father, he owns a cat on a thousand hills. And what I have, God is, only God can take the credit. He gets the glory. He gets the glory. I can't take none of this. From, I wish I, you know, I just wish my husband was here. That I could tell him what God has done. It's just, I had to just tell, I just had to tell you that God is real. And just hold on. If you could just hold on, I promise you. And and believe God. I don't think this is the last time I'm be married. I, but I know that it's going to be a while. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to God that he's providing for me. I don't have to go to no man and ask them to provide for me. I don't have to depend on a man. Because Christ is my everything. But my first thought was, I don't have anybody. I'm by myself. The New Year's coming in. Christmas done went. Thanksgiving done went. And it's been a, a cycle of me being really by myself. But today, God, let me know I am your provider. But you know, while we on this live, Lord, send a male. Send, send a man. You know, you know, I do need, you know, I do, you know, I know you good, God. I ain't tripping, but you know. You know, y'all all touch and agree that he send them soon, okay? Okay. Okay, I got that out the way. Yeah, we need to, everybody just touch and agree. Point your hand this way and say, Lord, bless Novena with a husband, a good husband. The rib. A rib. His rib. The one I'm assigned to. Because I think I'm lost. I think I'm lost. I believe I'm lost. We say he that findeth the wife, okay, so let him find me. But, um, Lord Jesus... <laughs> Point your hand this way and say, send that man. Send that man for that woman. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, you better. Yes. You see the confirmation? You see that confirmation? Yes. I thank God for it. He mad. The devil mad. But he ain't gonna steal my joy. <laughs> they tell you, I'm on my way. This is like the news that they told me today. Nobody but Jesus. Hey, Stevie Lee. I don't know what I just did because I'm driving. Okay. But I had to tell y'all. Y'all that have spouses. I'm not talking about boyfriends. I'm talking about spouses. And y'all can be transparent with them. Don't take it for granted. Because they'll give you insight on how to make the next move. I just have Christ right now. But when you have a husband, you're a team, and you get y'all get to make money moves, and y'all get to make business moves, and plans, and, 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 and strategies, and you get to bounce it off of somebody, because you can't bounce everything off of everybody. Because they, they, they're, they're, they're like sheep and with clothing. They trying, to, they trying to duplicate what you doing. They trying to come up off of you. They really not there to they not there to really like edify you. They there to they're there to they 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 there to um they 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 there to just try and you know I you can't share your gift and your calling with everybody. And you know it was only one person I could run and tell my mom and I was like Lord you doing it it's you but send me a husband lord i'm putting mine out there if anybody else want a husband the water's trouble because everything i asked god for already he provided it now i'm just saying okay send my rib no send me my spot where my rib is i'm supposed to be placed in put me in my place yeah because I know I'm hiding because I'm doing the will of the Lord. Because today, it was a confirmation that it's just me and God. But right now, Lord, I know you there, but you need to send me somebody I can talk to on a pillow so we can make money moves. We need to make future plans. And I just, I'm just i ready to do that. 
I'm ready to do that. Thank you, Sister Regina. See, you feel me, because this is real. A spouse is real. You understand. It's just my gut. I got. I don't know how. You, I don't even know how to articulate what's going on in my stomach. It's so big that you still need to be wrapped up in some big arms to be holding on to you while you're going through it, even though it's good news. You don't need a man just for bad news, but when you got good news, you still want to share it. So I hope you young ladies are listening to this about don't settle because God going to move them out the way. If it ain't the one, God going to move them out the way. Trust me. He did that. I had a little brother that I was really, I was, I was feeling him, but nobody but God took him. Listen, I'm being honest. Can I be transparent? He ain't the one. God let me know he ain't the one. He can't go on his journey with you. I bucked and cried. I cried and bucked. I was like, Lord, why? What you doing, Lord? But he couldn't handle this. He couldn't handle this. So you got to tell God, send me a man. Send me the man that you want for me. That'll be able to handle your blessings. Girl, y'all don't understand. The Lord, the Lord that came through. The Lord that came through big time. Hey, Regina. When I tell you he came through, he came through. But Lord, send that man that's on that pillow that can lay down with me so that I can talk to him about this and we can make another move. Because I'm, I, I trust God, but now it's like, Lord, at this point now is where somebody needs to be in front of me. I need a man that's in front of me to be able to help me make these moves, dealing with lawyers and all of those things. I'm telling y'all, God is doing something so great. I'm like trying to get there. I'm trying, I'm in traffic. All I'm telling y'all now is just point your hand this way when y'all watch this live and say, send, send that man, Lord, the man that you would have for her, the one, the right one, the one, the red, the one she, she, she's supposed to be the, the missing link to. Oh, he's out there. Listen, I ain't, I ain't gonna be fake. I'm gonna be 100. I ain't got time to be sitting here playing, oh, I'm so holier than thou, nah. And it ain't about sex, it's about laying down, making Mind, getting your mind stimulated. Somebody that can grow and in, sow into you, grow into you. Just, just, just grow. Just, just together. I'm just. Oh, it was an accident up here. That's why we in this. Listen. Woo! Y'all understand? I don't even know how to process any of this. I can't process it. Thank you for your inspiration station. Listen, I'm trying to make it. My 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 family flipped out on me. My 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 friends flipped out on me. Didn't change how I felt. I mean, people were dying. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you because those things, old things are um, passed away. Behold, all things become new. That's all behind me. But guess what? They can't go with me. God already severed that. God removed it and he's already said it. It's, it's, it's already set. There is a very select few that get to go with me. And, and listen, and they're all in front of me. The people are in front of me that I have to, I'm a white canvas. They're painting on me as I grow in this ministry that I'm in right now. It is so major. The platform just shifted. My platform shifted at the table. What you gonna do? What, what, now what you doing? Now this is what you... Shifted right in the presence of... I was just like, what is this? Listen. Trust God in everything you do. Trust Him. If you don't trust nobody else, trust God. And then when He send you that man, that woman, you, you the one He send, you be transparent so that you continue to do the will of the Lord. So I'm telling God to send me a man that I can talk to on the pillow. I need that. I need that. I miss that because I did some great things when I got up off that pillow and woke up in the morning. I could move the world. And it's just been me and Christ. But can you imagine with two of us and him encouraging me and being behind me what I could do? Man. I'm in just, I'm in awe. I can't wait to see who he is, how he gonna look. I know he gotta be taller than me. I know he gotta have a beard. I like man with beard. I know he's gotta be intelligent, very quiet, 
reserved, but know how to be assertive. I know, I know the attributes that I like about a man. I, they they gotta love God. They gotta love God. Christ first. Me second. If God ain't first, we got a problem. I'm just like. Y'all, I gotta sign out because the devil will try and send a counterfeit. <laughs> Boop, right? Won't he do it? Hi, y'all. Hi, hi, everybody. Hi. Y'all watch this live afterwards, young ladies that are not married, that are waiting for a husband. I've been married twice. So it ain't like I don't know what it's like to be married. I done bought a home with my first husband, my second husband. I made so many different try, you know, moves and positive moves. I'm telling you, two can put put a flight. I mean, one can do ten thousand. Two, can you imagine what you just being with you and your spouse? What y'all could do in the will of the Lord? That's Bible, y'all. That's Bible. I'm just saying. The information I got, it makes it harder for the man to come to the table. If he don't, if he's not confident enough, just anybody can come to the table. The Lord said, I prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. I'm going to prepare a table before you, Novena, that everybody ain't going to be able to sit at. Not even my Judas, but they're going to watch me eat. Now that's deep. Peace out. Hi, Pastor Williams. Look at my pastor. He came on my life. My pastor on my life. Pastor Williams, watch the video. Watch the watch the live. Oh my God. Watch the live. I'm gonna get off now because I gotta go in here and see my lawyer. So watch the live. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. Okay. He here already. Alright. Peace out, y'all.